Well, that official Quake content that we've all been waiting for has finally been revealed. During a poorly done reveal with tons of technical difficulties, they finally revealed a new Quake re-release for all platforms. So now, for those of you who have previously been unable to play this classic game, you have your chance to experience it in full. There is a reason to replay this even if you've already played the classic game on Steam, though as a new expansion pack developed by Machine Games titled Dimension of a Machine will be included. Not to mention that the enhanced version of Quake will be given as a completely free update if you already own the game on PC. Before getting into the specific details, something that I wanted to point out that I personally found very exciting was the inclusion of a cross-platform 4-player multiplayer for both the co-op campaign and deathmatch. The game will also fully support 4-player local split-screen as well. So, now you can get the full Quake experience with your friends, nothing better than that. Anyways, getting into the long list of details of what this new version includes, the store page states, Quake, the legendary dark fantasy FPS that revolutionized the genre, is now enhanced. This new offering features cross-play, dedicated servers for online deathmatch matchmaking, free additional add-ons, split-screen support for local deathmatch and co-op, AI opponents in deathmatch, and more. Enhanced graphics, better lighting, new models, updated maps, and a dynamic shadow system headline the graphical features available in Quake. Individual features of the enhanced graphics can be turned off and on to your preference. Includes original expansion packs. The two retail expansion packs, Scourge of Armagon and Dissolution of Eternity, are both now bundled with Quake and are integrated into the main game. The downloadable expansion pack, Dimension of a Past, has also been upgraded and included. Includes soundtrack. The iconic original soundtrack by Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails is now included on all versions for the first time. The soundtracks for Scourge of Armagon and Dissolution of Eternity are also included when playing those expansion packs. Brand new Dimension of a Machine episode. Created for Quake's 25th anniversary, Dimension of a Machine is a brand new experience created by the Machine Games team. Continue your fight through brand new dimensions, figure out the secrets to restarting the machine, and come face to face with an old foe. Pre optional add ons. Similar to our re-releases of Doom 1993 and Doom 2, we will also be periodically re-releasing free optional add-ons available to download in the in-game add-ons menu. Our first add-on is Quake 64, which includes the original alternate soundtrack by acclaimed composer Aubrey Hodges. It's so great to see such an amazing game get this treatment, the improved graphics may not be the most extreme, but it's still very nice to have. I'm sure that all of us will be enjoying this new content over the next few days and weeks. One thing I feel as if I should briefly mention is the new free login bonus for Doom Eternal. Just by simply opening the game and going to the main menu, you should receive a QuakeCon 2021 cosmetics pack. This will only last from now until September 2nd, so I suggest you log on and get it as fast as possible. Although it is a little unrelated to Quake, most of my viewers are Doom-oriented, so I figured I should bring it up. Regardless though, this is a pretty nice re-release of Quake, as you can see by the gameplay in the background. It's also pretty nice to have 4-player and multiplayer both locally and online, and I'm pretty amazed by the Quake 64 add-on. Well, that's all I have for you in today's rather exciting news video, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more content, I would genuinely really appreciate it. While you're at it, feel free to join the official Horde Mode Gaming Discord server, it's a good way to get updates fast and talk with a great community. Make sure to leave a comment down below regarding your experience with this new re-release. For those of you who are majorly Quake fans, it might be worth your time sticking around as I plan to continuously cover Quake now that it's been reintroduced. Anyways though, thank you all for watching. Until next time.